So I got access to Midjourney's new website named Midjourney Alpha, in which you get lots of new options, new list of parameters, and everything is so accessible and easy to use. So this is Usman from Skillgurf, and let's explore this amazing new website of Midjourney Alpha. Alright guys, so here I am in the homepage of Midjourney website, which is named as Midjourney Alpha. So right off the bat, uh, you jump into the explore section of Midjourney. In that, you can go ahead and check out the creations that people have created with Midjourney. So we have every style image right over here. We have some digital art, some realistic images, uh, some landscapes, and all the other type of images right over here in your explore section, alright? And next, you can go ahead and jump to your create a section. And this section will include all of your own creation that you have created with Midjourney, right? So we have today creations right over here. And you can jump into your old creations as well. And if you click on the organized ones, so over here, you have basically a grid of like all the images that you have created with Midjourney till now, right? So you can jump into like your oldest creation that you want right over here in Midjourney, right? Then we have the chat option, so you can chat with the Midjourney community from here. And then we have tasks. So in that, you can complete a few of the tasks with Midjourney and get rewarded, right? Then we have the option of like dark mode, updates, tool, and few of the settings of Midjourney, right? So starting off, let's just go ahead and discuss few of the features that you get new in Midjourney website and that you didn't use to see uh, like in previous version of Midjourney, which was basically in Discord, right? So now you can go ahead and access this website if you have created 100 or more than 100 images with Midjourney, right? And yes, spoiler alert, you basically get tons of new features that you didn't use to see in the Discord version, right? And it's very accessible. It's very, very easy to use. So starting off, the most convenient thing about the Midjourney website is now you can go ahead and get access to all the parameters with just one click, right? You can go ahead and click on this settings option right over here. And in that, you get the option of image size, aesthetics, model, and more options, right? So yeah, let's just say if you want to go ahead and select your aspect ratio. So now you don't have to do like dash dash ar or any aspect ratio you can go ahead and choose that with your slider right over here which is really really convenient right and then we have the option of aesthetic so now let's just say if you want to go ahead and stylize your image or now you can go ahead and use the parameter of weird or like chaos so now you can go ahead and do that just with the help of this slider right and let's just say if you want to change your model so you can do that as well and you can change the speed of that as well right so all the options that you use to do like manually in the discord and now with the help of just one click you can do that very very easily right so speaking of that let's just go ahead and generate our first image in our mid journey website and i'm gonna play around with the parameters to see like how well we can create images in the mid journey website so for that i'm gonna go ahead and jump to my mid journey prompts database and in that we have all the prompts such as human portraits realistic images, landscapes. So yeah, this is basically the prompt formula of mid journey, which was medium plus style composition, scene, modulate and dash dash. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and generate human prompts. So I'm just going to take a prompt from here. We're not going to take uh, the parameters because now with the help of mid journey website, we can do that manually, right? So I'm going to type over here, professional portrait photograph of a young British woman in a jacket with very blonde hair, beautiful symmetric face, cute natural makeup, and all those bottom details. So now let's just go ahead and check our parameters. So for the image size, I'm gonna take as portrait. Okay, portrait looks good. And for the stylized parameter, I'm gonna go ahead and do that as 100. It's the perfect one. And for weird, I'm not gonna use it for now. And for the chaos, uh, the zero is fine. And for the model, it will be the standard model. And the version, I'm gonna choose as 6.1 and the personalized feature is off. So now let's just go ahead and generate our first image in mid journey alpha, you guys. And surprisingly, you guys, it takes very less time than the Discord version of Midjourney. And now we have a very amazing portrait of a young British woman in a jacket with baby blonde hair, right? So now we have all the variations right over here. This is the first image. This is the second one. This is the third one and the fourth, right? So all the creations are like look absolutely amazing, look really, really good. And in that, we used to see more options in Discord, right? But now over here, you get all the options with just one click. So if you want to go ahead and do very, like you want to vary your images, so you can go ahead and click like either subtle or strong from here. Or if you want to upscale your image, you can do that with just one click, right? So everything is very convenient 
like very visible, right? So now you don't have to like memorize or remember all the difficult prompts of mid journey. You can do everything now in the website very, very easily. And then we have the more options. So we have rerun, reframe and repaint. And then you can use uh, this image as image prompt or style reference, or you can copy this prompt uh, to your prompt bar right over here, right? And you know what's the best part is now you can go ahead and customize your creation actions right over here. You can click on this more options and now you can include remix, pan and zoom. Uh, but this makes it a lot complex. So I'm going to go ahead and unselect zoom, pan and remix because uh, I don't like to use it more often. So first of all, let's just say if I want to go ahead and create more variations of this particular image right over here. So I'm going to click on uh, the subtle option. Either you can create subtle or strong. I'm going to click on the subtle one. And just like that, now it's going to create me variation of this image. Like we have four more variations, right? So yeah, this looks absolutely wonderful. We have uh, like all the images are very identical, very symmetrical, right? And now let's just say if you want to go ahead and upscale this image with the help of just one click, you can click on this upscale subtool. And just like that, it's going to upscale the image for you within a few seconds. All right, you guys? All right, so another very cool option that you get uh, with the new Midjourney website is now you can go ahead and click on this rerun. And then it's going to go ahead and run the same prompt for you again if you want to go ahead and generate the images once again with different variations, right? And then we have a very amazing option of a reframe, you guys, right? So now you can go ahead and reframe your image with the help of this slider. So it will go ahead and generate the part, you know, that is missing on the left and right side. Or you can go ahead and do that horizontally as well with the help of just slider or you can go ahead and play around with the zoom as well and it's going to fill the part with the help of ai that is not there in the image right so this feature is really amazing right so let's just say i reframe this image backwards okay so now it basically has to fill the part horizontally like up and down and i click on submit so just like that it basically a chain the aspect ratio it reframed that image for us and now this image looks absolutely perfect. It doesn't look like it basically uh, is reframed or something, right? It has kept all the details. And yeah, this is absolutely beautiful, right? And the other feature, now you can go ahead and repaint your image as well, which is really amazing. So let's just say if you want to go ahead and repaint the image, you want to change something in your image. So you can go ahead and select the part in your image. Like I'm going to select the eyes from here. And then I can go ahead and type with sunglasses i want to include sunglasses in my image as well and click on generate and just like that now it's going to create other variations for me with the woman now wearing sunglasses with the help of uh, the repaint feature right and yeah these images look really really good you guys right all right so now speaking of image prompting so image prompting has really revolutionized in the new mid journey website so now with the help of just this a picture icon you can go ahead and select images whether from mid journey or you can drag and drop your image right over here right so let's just say i take this image so this image is basically a fashion photography of a model in a vintage dress posing in an old town setting right so i basically drag and drop image over here in my prompt box and then it's going to give me a three more options so whether you can use this as image from with just one click or you can use that as style reference or you can use this image as corrector reference right so let's just say i want to go ahead and use this image as my style reference and now i'm going to go ahead and type in my prompt over here that portrait photograph of a young french woman right and click on generate so just like that, it will create portrait photograph of a young French woman with basically the vintage look and the old city setting that I kept in my image reference, right? So this was my image reference image and it basically kept all the style in my new images. And yeah, this is how you can go ahead and do a style reference in Mid Journey website, which looks really, really good, right? So now let's just go ahead and take another example. So this time I'm going to take this image of a man's portrait in an abstract art and I'm going to simply drag and drop this image into my prompt box and select style reference from here. And now I can type in my prompt that photograph of a young Hispanic man in a casual shirt. And now let's generate this and take a look at these results, right? Wow, this looks absolutely perfect. So this was our a reference image you guys can see right over here uh, this was an abstract art and i simply type in my prompt like portrait of a young hispanic man in a casual shirt and it basically kept their style and generated these results for me like take a look at this result right this looks absolutely perfect it clearly kept that style and now the images turned out really really good you guys right so now let's just go ahead and test out uh, the corrector reference in the Midjourney website. So let's just say I go ahead and take uh, this corrector as my reference image. I'm going to drag and drop this image right over here. 
and I can type my prompt that a woman in a gym doing her workout and make sure you click on the corrector reference button over here, okay? And let's just generate this. All right, wow. So just like that, it's gonna go ahead and create the image of my corrector reference, which was right over here. And it generated me these results. So yeah, these look really, really good. So now we have a woman uh, who is doing workout in the gym, right? And one more thing, guys, if you go ahead and go to your organized section. So in that, I told you, you can get access to all your images that you have created till now. And you know, what's the cool part about Midjourney website is now everything is so easy and so accessible. So let's just say if you want to go ahead and use any of your image for like image prompting, style reference or corrector reference. So you don't even have to open your image. So let's just say if I want to go ahead and take this image and use this as my style reference. So I can simply right click on this image and it's going to give me more options. Either I can like this image, I can vary it, I can upscale or I can go ahead and use this as my image prompt, style reference or corrector reference and I can share or save this image, right? So it is like really, really accessible. Like previously in Discord, everything was so hard. We had to memorize all the parameters. We had to do all the difficult settings, but now Midjourney website is so accessible, so easy to use that anyone who is new to Midjourney, he won't face any difficulty, right? So there you have it, guys. This was a go through uh, to a new uh, Midjourney website named Midjourney Alpha. So yeah, in the next videos, we're gonna go ahead and test this out in more details. So I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care, bye-bye.